Hi guys, this is Relic with uh, TSN Research. I just wanted to quickly show a uh, new little breakout board that I've designed um, for the Arduino or Raspberry Pi or probably any other uh, microcontroller that, that you're working with. If your next project requires um, a keypad matrix for user input, um, I've made a little breakout board um, to save pins. One like this, uh, this is a 4x3 matrix, so it's 12 keys. Um, and this ribbon cable uses, uh, there's actually seven uh, lines on the ribbon cable, but it actually only uses six, I think. But now in your 4x4 matrices, or um, matrices rather, um, it uses 8 pins. Um, so this board will support um, up to 20 key keypad matrices. Um, you can also use, there's some smaller ones like this that are just uh, 4 keys with a 5 pin header. So. Um, this has an 8-pin header on the breakout board, um, and it'll support up to, like I said, up to 20 keys, um, 8 pins wide. Pin 1 goes all the way over here. Um, it's marked on the board. Um, pin 1 on the board to pin 1 of your matrix, and whatever pins are left blank, uh, that those can just those can be left floating. Um, if they're unused. So there's a decoder chip and a uh, shift register and then the oscillation circuit. So the only thing you need to do is uh, you instead of using seven or eight wires on your Arduino Uno um, you connect a ground 5 volt and then I don't know if you can see in this light but you've got three pins uh, to get your data and a fourth optional pin um, your three required pins are your latch clock and your serial data in and if you don't want to pull the keyboard constantly in your code there is a uh, data ready interrupt pin that will uh, go high then it'll go high when a key's pressed and then low when it's released so you can tie that to a interrupt or you can monitor it on a digital read on digital input so um, I've got two demo codes written uh, to work with this uh, little board and I'll be selling these on my website www.tsnresearch.com I'll probably have them up on eBay too um, for testing I've got three of these right now but I've ordered a bunch more and as soon as those boards come from the fabricator, um, I'll make them up. Um, had the boards designed by OSH Park. Huge props to them. They do a great job in a relatively short period of time. Uh, very fine board quality. And the prices can't be beat. So I'll, uh, as I said, I've got two demo codes. One would just simply. Uh, echo the uh, keys that are being pressed. The second code, uh, the second example, um, is just a little pin number storage uh, sketch. It demonstrates how to write a four digit uh, security pin to EEPROM and then retrieve that. Um, so I'll close the serial monitor uh, one thing you gotta, uh, you do have to note is uh, the matrix wiring is different on some keypads, and then naturally there are different types of keypad matrices. You've got your four by three, you've got your one by fours, your four by fours, and not all of them follow the same uh, pinouts. So if your keypad is different than these. Um, the only thing you need to do in the code is there is a function called decode and I'll find that and it just looks at the uh, 
the binary data coming in and it's a series of switch statements so what you would do is just uncomment uh, these debugging lines right here which will show you the serial uh, data in binary format that's coming in for each key that's pressed so if your data if, if your wiring and your keypad is different uncomment these lines um, run the key press example code and you'll see the binary data that's coming back and then you can remap your keys so in the case of a binary zero it's key one in case of a binary one zero zero or in decimal that's four that's key number two um, and so on and so it converts those to characters and spits them out I'll open the serial monitor uh, this is the uh, pin number storage example okay so it's, it'll accept three commands uh, through the serial monitor A and pressing enter will uh, write a new four digit pin B will read whatever's currently stored in EEPROM and display it and C will clear the uh, EEPROM addresses to zero so without typing any commands you can just press uh, any keys three two one and maybe a star and as you see we've got three two one and star so if I type A on the keyboard it'll ask me for four digits as a pin number to write to EEPROM so just type A capital A hit enter now it wants me to enter a pin I'll just enter uh, let's see just one two three four one two three and as soon as it gets the last digit it'll automatically uh, save it okay pin has been saved now you got your menu again if you want to see what's in the prom type a character B hit enter stored pin number and there it is one two three four um, now I'll type C to clear uh, the EEPROM memory. So type a C, hit enter. Okay, EEPROM has been cleared. Now if we view it again, it should be all zeros. So type a B, hit enter. And that part I need to debug. but. I can assure you that, oh there, yeah I did do it, it didn't put anything, stored pin equals null, nothing, so there you go. And then just for good measure we'll try it one more time, enter A to set a new pin, uh, enter a pin number, we'll just do, I don't know, let's just do 2, 2, where are we at here, 2, two three three pin saved and now we'll do a retrieval type B hit enter and our stored pin is two two three three so there you go um, I haven't de determined a set price yet um, uh, probably under 20 bucks um, but these are high quality parts I can assure you it's a high quality board and uh, if you're using one of these uh, keypads in your next project and you don't want it to hog up eight digital I.O. pins you can get by with three, four if you want a interrupt and you can pick these up at tsnresearch.com. Thanks.